Hello friends and happy 1st of June. Welcome to my latest layout video and also this is going to be my con con contribution to the um, Creating with Sketches blog hop in June. If you're new to my channel, I uh, have been participating in this blog hop since January. This is where a bunch of very talented scrapbookers here in YouTube get together and we follow the sketches that was created by Allison Davis of Scrapbook Generation and is actually a class and so it is chock full of a lot of information and you get 10 basic layouts but within those layouts you have multiple variations of the layout that you can use so of course we can't show you the layouts because they are paid content but we are working with the one page sketch number one and this is where there's a big picture in the middle there's a, a block also in the middle and then there are accents on the bottom left and top right. So I am doing kind of my own version, but it is um, gonna be, I would say close to sketch number 18 if you have that specific class or sketch bundle. In the variation number 18, it had three photos and that was what gave me the idea of um, doing this layout. Of course, I don't have three layouts. I have more than three, but I used that idea to be able to know where I will place my layout or sorry, my photos. And the one kind of drawback to having lots of photos is that I didn't have enough room to add a lot of accents on that um, bottom left top right um, part but I'm still happy with how it turned out. So as you can see the pictures are all about my son picking from our little tiny cherry tree. We've had that tree for I want to say like four years or five years before we were able to beat the birds and get some cherries well we put a net around it but sadly right after the season of when we picked these cherries our tree died so yep we only had one harvest from that tree but it was all good so I had my son pick some cherries and I think we were we were going on a trip and so even though the tr the cherries were kind of small we still picked them and um it was kind of a pain to you know get all the the pits or the seeds inside since it's really tiny but i did manage to make some cherry preserves out of it so that was kind of fun um so i am going to start off with this paper that looks like a picnic tablecloth um, and that's going to be the very edge of my paper. Initially, I wanted to do this yellow. And you, I don't know if you can tell, but it has this very slight white dot on over the yellow. And I really like that one. But it just felt like it was a little too, um, I don't want to say bland, but it was just a little too plain that I needed something to go around it for a border. And so I decided to cut that red. And I picked the red because I didn't want the red to be too close to my photos since there's a lot of reds already on there. And so that's what that's why I layered my papers the way I did. Now I'm also adding this brown kind of wood grain paper um, as another layer for my matted photos. I don't know, I just like how that looks. But I will gut that as well, just because I can and I know that there's a lot of papers already. Now, I could, I don't have to, of course, because I have a lot of papers, but sometimes, you know, some habits never really die. So I am going to gut that out and then I'm going to put that in the center. Now, as you can see, I um, kind of went overboard and I grabbed a, just a cherry, a simple cherry shape or design on Google. And then I turned that into an SVG file and then I cut that out with my silhouette. I cut that 
on green and red. My initial thought was that I will kind of overlap it. So I'm going to cut the actual cherries from the red and then glue that onto the green so that I have a green stem and then red cherries. But the lazy me just decided that instead of doing all that work, I'm just going to put both of them here. And I actually liked how that looks because there's a variation of the color of the fruit. And so um, that was, it turned out okay. And so here I am centering my block. So in the sketch, there's actually a big block on the center and then the photos within that block. Well, since I have a lot of photos, I just decided that instead of having a, a block to go behind my photo collage, that will just serve as the block itself. And I did pre-print my journaling already. Now, like I said earlier, I have way too many photos. And so my layout doesn't quite, it's not going to end up looking like the sketch, but like what we have learned, if you are a sketch user, you know that sketches are just a great kind of jumping point and then of course you can do your own thing and that's kind of what I'm doing over here and so I have laid down my cherries over there and I've also put in my journaling just kind of like a I don't know, like an idea. I am not quite sold that I'm going to put that on the bottom right. Now, I also cut down, I grabbed um, kind of like a, a tree without any leaves, just branches, um, again, from Google. And then I turned that into an SVG file. Now, my initial idea was that the cherries were going to come off the vine type of thing. But again, I have way too much, too many photos. That block is just too big. I did not, of course, want to cover any of my photos because those, for me anyways, they are important. Um, although I am going to use some of the white space of my photos so I can tuck a little bit of things here and there. But the vine just, just doesn't seem like it's going to work out. The flourishes of that vine is just way too big. Maybe if it was smaller, it would work but it's just too big so i'm going to scrap that idea i still of course i'm going to use these cherries because i cut them all and they add just that right um addition of design for the theme of my layout and so i like the cherries i'm going to commit to that i'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of that uh, i have also thought of maybe putting some foam adhesive behind it but those stems are really skinny and so I didn't want to have to deal with that and so they're just going to be laid on top of the existing block. I am using just a simple clear acrylic block just so I can add a little bit weight to my cherries and it will glue faster okay so now that i have my cherries there now i'm going to see if i could um, find the right spot for my journaling and i am figuring maybe it's going to go over there but then i remembered that i also while i was cutting out the vine i also cut out my title which would be cherry picking and so i am going to lay that on there and then see if it's going to work with the existing space that i have on the layout right now and I was thinking, oh, maybe the cherry could be there and then the picking would kind of go on the side, on the right side, but it's too narrow for the letters. And then I decided, well, maybe I can put the picking on the bottom. So then our my title is kind of balanced, you know, left, um, top left and then bottom right. And I like that. The only thing is that that journaling is still kind of, giving me an issue like I don't quite like it right there and then I'm going to set it over on the middle of my photo block and that will do. Uh, is it the best place? I don't know but I just think that that will do 
for the idea that I have. I am going to move my word cherry just a little bit more to the center because I just have this idea that I'm going to add something to the top, the very top left. What that is, I actually don't know at this point, but it just seems like as I was creating this and looking at it with my eye, it just needs, it just needs to be moved and not way too far. Okay, so now that I had heard the letters there, and they're just craft um, cardstock, by the way. Um, now I'm going to kind of figure out what other things that I can add to this. Now the papers, um, the pattern papers that I create, that I used as well as you know, yeah, the pattern papers that I. I'm using is from a simple stories summer line and the summer line is kind of farmhouse type um, look and it had some cherries on there already that's one of the reasons why I picked that particular paper pad and so I am going to actually pull some of the stickers and some of the accents from that paper pack as well to finish off adding design to my layout. Here I'm still trying to contemplate if I can find a way to add a little bit more cherries on there because as you can see on the top of my screen, I cut a bunch of them. And so I was really determined to use as many of them here as I can. But as again, um, the, the way I'm looking at the layout as I am creating it, it just didn't seem like it will make it look better if I add another, even another set of cherries there. I don't know. Let me know in the description box below. If you were making this layout, would you add a little bit more cherries on the top right and bottom left? Now I am looking at it. And I'm thinking it's pretty much done. And again, the hard part about these kinds of layouts for me anyways, is that the bulk of the layout, the space is filled with photos. And for me, as much as I think that I can cover up photos, I don't want to cover too much of them because they are the... Um, the body of my layout if that makes any sense so I don't want to cover them too much because then it just it, it loses the like when you look at it at a glance it loses the 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 theme of it you know I'm, I'm missing parts of the the story if I'm taking out too much of the photos so I've just decided that I'm going to go with that and then go with very minimal um elements or um, embellishments but I am still going through the stuff trying to figure out what I can do and I think I'm going to add like word stickers again this is the simple stories paper pack and collection so there's a lot of word stickers on there there's of course accent stickers I also have this paper to have two by two pieces of blocks and I am looking as you can see I've used this paper pad a few times and I am trying to figure out which kind of two by two block would look good and I think I know that I want to put that right on the very top left of my layout because I feel like that needs some some design there and so I found this one that says summer and I'm gonna cut that a little bit more a little bit skinnier so that it will fit and then I'm gonna cut it as a banner and then put that right to the left of the word cherry and you can even say that my title could say summer cherry picking which is really cool as well but I like how that's going to go now I am going to glue that uh, or put adhesive on the back for that but I feel like it's a banner or it's a tag it needs some 
extra reinforcement which is the stapler so I use my tiny attacher and then just staple that there and here I am adding some word stickers in some spaces of the layout and then I found that cherry sticker because it's so cute why not I also found the bowl of cherries on a weight scale and I'm going to add that there and then for finishing touches I will be adding some white nouveau drops just on some parts of the word cherry picking or the letters I should say just to kind of add a little bit more texture and interest to the letters because it does seem a little bit too kind of plain um, so I'm going to add that there and that is my layout for today if you like these videos please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and make sure that you check out the description box below because it will have the links of all of the people that are participating this month I hope you guys have a great tune and I'll catch you guys in the next month bye now